Okay. Here at Gallipoli, Australians and New Zealanders made a name for themselves that shines forever. Soldiers from other parts of the empire looked on in awe as these soldiers from new nations proved themselves in the fire of battle. One British ob officer observed, the enemy's shelling was shifted on them in one great concentration of hell. The machine guns bellowed and poured on them sheets of flame and of ragged death, buried them alive. They were disemboweled. Their clothing caught fire and their flesh hissed and cooked before the burning rags could be torn off and beaten out. But what of it? Why nothing? They were at home in the hellfire. They laughed at it. They sang through it. Their pluck was titanic. They were not men, but gods, demons infuriated. We saw them fall by the score. But what of that? Not for one breath did the great line waver or break. On and up it went, up and on, as steady and proud as if on parade. A seasoned staff officer watching choked with his own admiration. Our men tore off their helmets and waved them and poured cheer after cheer after those wonderful Anzacs. Such regulations are thrilling. They rightly instill a sense of pride, but they tell nothing, nothing of the fear, the inner turmoil that each man must have faced and struggled to overcome. Here, so many died, and dreams of glory died with them. Here, the reality of war was shown to us. Here, these men created a legend, but it was one created at great cost and great loss. We should remember them as they were, to honor their spirits which are still amongst us at this place where their bones still lie in this quiet soil.
The next wreath will be laid by Mr. Bakir Sutka Da, the Deputy Governor of Shinakle, on behalf of the government and the people of the Republic of Turkey. The next wreaths will be laid on behalf of the Republic of Austria, the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Canada and the French Republic by Brigadier General Reinhard Schobel, Brigadier General Tarakul Alam Tariq, His Excellency Christopher Kuta and Lieutenant Colonel Valerie Sens. The next wreaths will be laid on behalf of the Federal Republic of Germany, the Hellenic Republic of Greece, Hungary and the Republic of India by Colonel Frank Tisma, Captain Georgios Stavropoulos, Lieutenant Colonel Janos Varga and Colonel Vikas Slavia. <laughs> 